vitamin D3 and K2 go hand in hand. We used to get vitamin K2 from our diet. It comes from grass-fed animals. When cows graze in the pasture, their products are high in K2. Milk, cheese, meat. Unfortunately, due to modern farming, it has changed. It's difficult to get vitamin K2 from a good diet, even if you eat organic. The way that it plays a role, calcium is one of the key things that regulates how your body functions. Not only is it responsible for support and bone, it's responsible for function. If you're missing D3, you are not going to absorb the calcium. If you have D3, but missing the K2, it can actually harden your arteries and cause atherosclerosis because you're absorbing all this calcium, but you're missing the K2 to take it out of your bloodstream and deposit it into the bone. It's known that vitamin D and calcium go together. What is little known or less known is that K2 is just as important. Vitamin D3 allows you to absorb calcium from your food, from your gut. So now it's circulating around in your bloodstream. Well, the function your bones serve is to store calcium. When you have an excess level of calcium in your bloodstream, your body takes the calcium out of the bloodstream and deposits it into the bone. When you need calcium, your body breaks the bone down. So they go together. Both are needed for your body to properly metabolize and properly use calcium.